everyone, welcome to week 14, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, week 13 of the NFL, Jonathan Taylor, Matt Ryan, and the Indianapolis Colts face Trevor Lawrence, Austin Eckler, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here we go, gonna get it kicked off here. The Bucks will be receiving it first. Both teams fighting for postseason football. Last week, the Bucks beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Atlanta just beat the Chicago Bears. They're trying to fight into a playoff spot. It's actually com it's actually pretty competitive, mostly because both all the teams in our division are doing pretty bad. Eckler, six yards. Nope, seven yards. Second and three. Last week, 18 rushes, 95 yards, one touchdown. Over the season, 195 yards, 1,022 yards, and I didn't get to see how many touchdowns. Here we go. Eckler with a first down. Three yards. Eckler first down. Big first down there. 18 yard gain. Detroit and Green Bay look like they're fighting. Detroit fighting for a wild card spot right now. Mike Evans with the catch. They're in the red zone. The Lions beat the Packers. They're trying to make the playoffs. And they go seven yards. Second and three. Here we go. And no good. Third and three. The Cowboys beat the Chargers. Eckler, first and goal now. First down. Here we go. Eckler, no, nothing there. Second and goal. Here we go. No, Mike Evans can't hold on. Forty Niners beat the Giants. No, Godwin, the defender got in his way, it looked like. And it looks like they're gonna go for it. The Cardinals beat the Vikings. And no good. Here we go. Now. There you go. Five yards. The Bucks have got to be worried. They have not been a good team trying to stop the run. And they're facing one of the best rushing teams. Jonathan Taylor is really good. Takes him down. Two yards. And a first down. Matt Ryan, this is probably his last season of football. So the Colts might be a win now team. Because, yes, they have a good running back, but they proved in 2021 that that's not enough. Jonathan Taylor wasn't good enough by himself. Carson Wentz 
cost them the playoffs because he was not a good quarterback. So they need a good quarterback. Oh, he's going to break through. And Colts can't make it. Jonathan Taylor gets first and goal. And that is the end of the first quarter. Taylor, did he get in? No. He's got four rushes, 80 yards. He's doing better than Eckler did before. Here we go. No. He loses a yard. Third and goal. Here it is. I don't think he made it in fourth and goal. Hines, and now what do they do? And they're going to go for a field goal, something the Bucks didn't do. But that's probably huge for the Bucks defense, stopping them to a field goal on first and goal. The Bucks punt back. It was an interception for Jesse Bates. Now first and ten in the red zone. The Bucks have a chance to score. Odell Beckham Jr. gets in for a Buccaneers touchdown. That's his sixth touchdown of the season. And now... Bucks have the ball back. They had to punt. Mike Evans with a good catch. Here we go. Odell Beckham with the catch. Here we go. Eckler, three yards. No, third and seven. They have a chance to only get three on the play now. No good. They're going to settle for a field goal. They'll be up by seven if they can make it. And they do. Up by seven. Colts had to punt back, and the Bucks might be looking for at least a field goal here. And what a catch! Mike Evans with two defenders in front of his face. Kyle Pitts can't hold on to it. I thought he was going to hold on to that one. And intercepted. Trying to throw out of a sack. The Colts get the ball to start the second half. Here we go. And he fumbles it. And a loss of seven. But Vita Vea is hurt. That's going to be huge. If it's a serious injury, the Bucks may have just lost one of their biggest defensive players on the field. He's got over ten sacks this season. It's going to be third and five.
Here we go. And he caught it. First down. And five yards. He's at ten yard uh ten rushes, a hundred and one yards. And first down. Pittman gets it. That's a Colts touchdown. They will tie the game. Okay, Bucks got the ball back. Here we go. Eckler, four yards, second and six. Here we go. Mike Evans, another one-handed catch. Godwin with the catch. Here we go. Here's the next play. The Bucks run it. That's three yards. Nope, just two. Second and eight. Here we go. That's three yards. Nope, just two. Third and six. Here we go. Trevor Lawrence runs out of bounds there. Ten yard rush. And two yards. He started the first drive off really well, but since then, nothing. Hasn't been great. And a yard. Third and seven. And that's the end of the third quarter. Here we go. No, it's a flag pass interference. Oh, the defense was pass interference. It's going to be first and goal on the one yard line. And Austin Eckler in for a rushing touchdown. Buccaneers. And now. The Colts going to go for a field goal here. Couldn't score. And 38 yards. It's good. And now the Bucks have the ball back. They're definitely going to be trying to kill the clock here. Eckler. Seven yards. Nope, just six actually. Second and four. Here we go. And there's a flag. Holding. Tristan Wirfs. Here we go. 
Here it is. Eckler, six yards. Third and five. Intercepted! And he goes out of bounds. They're going to end up scoring. So now the Bucks have to score or this game's over. Or at least pretty much it's over. Pass to Mike Evans. And he goes down. A gain of 25. And the two minute warning. Here we go. Pass to Mike Evans. There's a first down. And Eckler catches it, but no gain. Intercepted! That's how another game might end. And, um... Technically, the Bucks do have a chance, but only 37 seconds. They're going to be looking for a big play here. There's a flag on the play. Pass interference. Here we go. Evans with the catch. Trying to rush it. Intercepted game over. The Colts are going to win it. With a pick six touchdown.